Hi, I'm Michael Choi and today's video is dedicated towards door knocking. Now, I'm a big believer in door knocking, especially in your first 6 to 12 months. It's all about collecting data because the more data you have, the more people's information you have, the more people you can call. The more people you can call, the more relationships you're going to have within the community and the more people you know, the more people that trust you, the more relationships you have, the more listings you have. The more listings you have, the more sales you have. So it all starts off with data collection, whether it be door knocking or other means of data collection. But I think door knocking is one of the best because it's face to face. Now this is the basics, but I'm going to just um, talk to you firstly, I'll go through the script and then I'll talk to you about why it works and how it works, but before I do that, just a couple of basics. I think it's very important to stay more than arm's length away from the door, because if you're more than arm's length away from the door, you're actually in someone's personal space and, and, and you're intruding into their safety and their privacy. So I think it's always important to just have that um, distance. I always like to knock on the door and then actually take quite a few steps back so that, that it's quite safe for them to open up and then when they open up I can slowly move in, okay? Now, also think it's important to go sideways because that way you're, you're, you're less intrusive and that's what they do in the animal kingdom. The animal kingdom, you want to scare someone, you, you're up and big um, or they go sideways like, like a dog or something um, to show that you're submissive. So you just want to show them that it's safe and that's just body language, normal body language. Another thing that I like to do is sometimes they open up the door and I don't know if this is working on the camera or not but sometimes they open up the door Okay, so this is the door. <laughs> they open up the door and they just open it up a little bit because of whatever reason. You can move a little bit, which means they have to open up the door. Move a little bit again, so which means they have to open up the door a little bit more. And then you can go back to the spade and the original spot sideways and the, you've got an open door. So that's just another thing. It's all about barriers, breaking down those physical barriers. So let's go through the script. Here we go. That's a bonus. Now, uh, hi, you and I have never met before. Um, but I'm walking around the area just to introduce myself. My name is Michael Choi, I'm with ABC Real Estate, so whatever real estate company you're with. I'm doing something a little bit different, don't worry. I'm not asking you if you're selling or buying. I know everyone's sick of that, so don't worry, I'm not going to ask you that. I'm doing something uh, a little bit different. So what I'm doing is I just want providing a way for you to get to know me, and how I'm doing that is every six months or twice a year, I'll send out a report on what your neighbor's houses have been selling for. And in that report, it will have everything to do with the suburb, all the sales, and at the bottom, it will have my contact details. So in the future, if you have any real estate questions, rather than me calling you and, and I suppose being a, always uh, calling you and uh, calling you at inconvenience time, if you've got a question, you can call me. Okay, it'll be at the bottom there. Now I'll send it to you. How do I spell your name? And pen to paper straight away and, and then look up. Okay, how do I spell your name? That action in itself, pen to paper. Um, it's, it's, it's like the, the silence in, in, in a normal clothes or something. When you put pen to paper, it's very hard for someone not to actually give you their name. So, so they give you their name, okay? Uh, so you, so you, you've got their name. And your contact number is 04. Once again, you start it off and then they have to finish it off. Um, better yet, what's your, what's your home number? Nine, nine, and you get the home number, which is just there. Actually, it's probably better for the environment if I just email it to you. What's your email address, okay? Notice the tonality. The tonality is important. Okay, put the folder away. The moment you put the folder away, that's like, ah, oh, okay, he's not gonna ask me for any more information. Or, oh, he's not going to write down any information. So put the folder away, and that's really important, okay? In this next bit, this is the goal right here. This is the goal. Um, now, thank you for that. Now, do you have any questions for me since I'm here? No? Okay, well, just before I let you go, we, do, we are just running a really quick survey on the area. So just a couple of questions. Um, I know you're not doing anything right now, but if you were to move, you know, later on down the track, would you stay in Xville or would you move out of the suburb completely? So would you stay in whatever suburb you're door knocking in or would you move out of the area completely? Okay. And would you get a bigger or smaller home? Yeah, okay, no, not a problem. Sorry, don't write it down. <laughs> the folder's down here, remember? Okay, and would you move closer or further away from the city? Oh, fantastic. Okay, well, thank you very much. Okay. Now just that bit just here, suburb bigger and closer, don't just go uh, suburb blah 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 blah, make it a conversation, so if they say, um, yeah I'd go to this suburb, oh, okay do you have family there closer to work, oh yeah, oh yeah fantastic, yeah I heard it's a nice area, uh, we'll miss you in, in Xville when you do leave, and bigger, oh yeah the home's getting too small, the, your kids are going out soon, after year 12 you're going to kick them out, so you're going to need a smaller home, yeah I understand, not a problem, yeah, and so make it a conversation obviously, not just, um, not just um, robotic. Okay, so that's that bit. Okay, let's go through some of the psychology. 
um, introduce yourself, doing something a little bit different. When you say you're doing something a little bit different, that uh, opens up people's eyes. They're like, okay, what, what's going on? And you're dropping the barriers. I'm not going to ask you if you're selling or buying. Very important. Because people are, they don't want to hear that from a real estate agent. So, so it just drops the barrier. Oh, phew, he's not going to ask me. So now I can open up a little bit more. Okay? Um, how do I spell your name? Um, so once again, that's 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 a close, okay? That's the, that's that close. I already spoke about that. I already spoke about that. Better for the environment. Just giving them a reason to give them the email address. The fold away. That's just basically when you put the fold away, that takes away another barrier, another concern from the potential vendor. Um, meaning, okay, it's they're just asking questions. But really, when you walk to the next house on your way to the next house, you're writing down, okay, we'll move to the city. Uh, we'll get a smaller house because the kids are. We'll move out in two years' time, okay? Um, and, and write down the reason. So that's all the psychology around that. I actually did forget to mention one thing. Hi, you and I have never met before, but I'm just walking around the area to give everyone one of these. And one of these is, could be anything. It could be your business card. It could be the copy of the report. It could be a leaflet. It could be anything. And what um, given one of these is, is just a way for, an excuse for someone to have to open up the door. And the reason why you want someone to open up the door rather than speak f through the the, the fly screen is because that fly screen is a physical barrier and when it's a physical barrier it will be a mental barrier so if you can get that open um, that's that, that, that'll be awesome uh, sometimes they don't do it so oh, that's no problem I'll just leave it down here and then start talking to them through the fly screen so I hope you enjoyed have any questions give me a call take care